My name is Roger Jones and I would like to congratulate Cache Valley Transit on 25 years of outstanding service to, to the residents of Cache Valley. I've had the opportunity to serve on the Board of Trustees for Cache Valley Transit for a number of years now and this year I have the opportunity to serve as Chair of the Board. We have an outstanding board of 19 members all appointed from their various communities where they reside and it's our responsibility to provide oversight and direction to the transit system. I think it's easy to underestimate the amount of effort it takes to keep that system on the road. So overall I'm very grateful to be a member of the board and I'm very pleased that we have such a wonderful system as Cache Valley Transit operating in our valley and serving our people. We got a, a class from USU to do a survey in the community to see what interest there was for having a system, uh, just a local system. And we also ask the question of if you were in favor of that, would you also be in favor of having a quarter cent sales tax to fund it? The response was overwhelming and we were heartened by that. So we uh, asked the municipal council in Logan to put that on the ballot the next November. That passed overwhelmingly. And so the Logan Transit District LTD was created and I, I just think the transit system is a uh, crown jewel in Cache Valley. Uh, you know, we've had a lot of success and I think most people are proud of the buses that you're able to hop on, hop off. But I, I just think there are a number of people that cannot drive, a number of people that, that, are, that can't afford a car. Uh, there's the elderly, that some of those maybe shouldn't be driving. There are the students who yet aren't driving, uh, or there's a parking issue like at USU. There are those that are just you know, environmentally sensitive that would like would rather ride the bus than to drive an extra vehicle on the roads. And so for all of those people, I, I just think we, we provide a service. Hi, I'm Sheriff Chad Jensen with the Cass County Sheriff's Office. We have a great relationship and partnership with the Cache Valley Transit District, not only with our agency, but with the community as well. With the security measures they have on the buses as well as the transit facility, we have a very high clearance rate of issues and problems and crimes reported to our on-staff deputy who is assigned to the Cache Valley Transit District. We very much appreciate the relationship that we have with the Cache Valley Transit District, their drivers and their staff, and appreciate the public service and the safe public service they provide to the citizens of Cache County. We work with people with disabilities and our mission is to help them to work and live and be as independent as they can possibly be. And the Cache Valley Transit System is such a great partner in helping us do that because the majority of people with disabilities that we work with are unable to drive and need transportation to get to their destination. Some people can go as individuals. They've learned the system, uh, they can transfer buses and get to where they need to go. Other individuals need a staff member to go with them to help with that transfer on the buses. We have some people who need to, to use the collar ride system. That system actually picks them up at their curb, brings them curb to curb, either here to cash employment or to the various appointments they need to go to in the community. They couldn't get to these places without the Cache Valley Transit. It is such a valuable partnership that we have with them. Hi, I'm Jay Carlson. My wife Diane and I are the parents of David Carlson, who is a uh, constant, frequent rider with the Cache Valley Transit District. He's a special needs uh, client of the Cache Education and Training Center. He's employed at uh, McDonald's in Smithfield and he rides the uh, bus every day. I am at Paige Hobbs from the Smithfield McDonald's and I have the luxury of working with David and he is our sunshine to the day. He is our upbeat person who keeps our lobby clean, helps our customers, and is just generally like one of the best things that happens here at our store. Honestly, if he didn't have the bus, I don't think he'd be able to work clear as far away. On the days that he doesn't have the bus, it's harder on him. It's what gets him here, and we're grateful for it, because if he wasn't here, our store would not quite be the same. Being able to have him 
ride on the Cache Valley Transit District system has been a major benefit to him in helping him become more independent, to be able to make friends, to be able to earn money, to be self-sufficient in many ways, and has been a great experience. We have nothing but the highest regard for the drivers and all of the personnel of the CVTD and really want to express our appreciation for them. I had a granddaughter that graduated in uh, art, and uh, she's an artist, in, in, she will be up for a summer fest. Uh, he says, come on, let's go, we gotta get to graduation. And all of my son all pulled out his check, how much is it? Oh, it's free, it's free, just you get on. He couldn't believe it. We got on the bus and we were five minutes we were there. And I don't, I don't drive anymore. I, I can, I still have a driver's license, but it's more for ID. So the bus is wonderful for me. Uh, I think it's a great benefit to have a, a fair, free bus service. If I wasn't working, for example, and a person with a disability, I would probably be on stage in federal uh, assistance of some kind. It liberates me where I use a power wheelchair, every bus is accessible. Well, I can go about anywhere in town that I need to get to. I uh, use it a lot for work meetings, shopping, going to the bank, that type of thing, uh, as well as to and from Preston, Idaho for work. I started riding when it was LTD and way back, a couple of decades ago. We had a family vehicle that had some maintenance problems and took it into um, have it repaired and at that time I started riding the bus out of necessity. I found out how easy and convenient it was to get the bus to where I needed to go whether it was to work or shopping or any place else in town and started riding it on a regular basis and have been riding it ever since. I am what they call a rider of choice. The biggest benefit for the community is to be able to help those that really need to be able to use it. Um, it's nice to be able to save a little bit of money, to be able to ride into town to go to work or to commute, but the real benefits for those people who really need it, and they need an extra dime, and they don't have to put out a dollar to drive into Logan every day, that they go in or two dollars or three dollars, however much gas it is, plus the cost of a vehicle and the insurance. And, and it's made it so that people can really utilize that bus service, the ones that really need it. It's heartening to talk to some of those people and being able to move around is, is, is something that's critical for a lot of people to be able to go buy groceries, to be able to go see your grandkids or your, you know, go to school or whatever. That's great that we provide that service and I think uh, over the past 25 years we've done a pretty darn good job doing it. <laughs>